You are now listening to 1K Away. Here. The 1K away with special guest J, aka Rubio. Bang Rubio. Rubio. Bang Rubio. Rubio. Oh my Rubio. God. <laughs> this is horrible. That's it. I'm banning it. No more banger ring. That's it. We're done with that. Look, if you're going to ban that, then I'm banning something you're doing. You can't uh, bang the banger ring, man. You can't bang the banger ring? Or did you say ban? What are you saying over there? You can't ban the banger ring. Yeah, 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 I heard bang. Right. I heard bang. <laughs> you can't bang. No one bangs the banger ring. <laughs> Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. So, <laughs> what are we talking about today? <laughs> I'm banning that. You ban banger ring, I ban that right there. <laughs> okay, fine. No. All right, fine. Banger ring can stay for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we got going, man? Um, Obviously, we got some new stuff coming out um, for everyone. Yeah. Um, obviously, some new stuff for us, which we are super fu- fucking excited about. Yeah. And we just can't wait t- till it comes out and kind of get your guys' feedback on it. Yeah. I mean, first of all, we just got to say thanks, right? I mean, the, the biggest thing right now is we are continuing to see our downloads increase week by week. So thank you very much, everybody. And actually, you know what's so crazy? I didn't even tell you, Coco, that I think like 25% of our audience for the last show was in Canada, United Kingdom, Belgium. So we've got listeners from all over the place. I like Belgium waffles. You like, you like I don't even know if they're famous for waffles. I think, that, I think we made that up. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like waffles. Just I don't look up blue waffle. blue waffle. What is a blue waffle? Oh, look it up. Ah, uh, wait. That sounds disgusting. What is a blue waffle? You got you to look it up. No, I don't want to look it up. What no, is it? no you, I, I can't tell you. No, you got to tell me. Nope. All right. You can look it up just like our audience here. Oh, you gosh. know, you got, pe- you got people right now Googling blue waffle. What is a guess? What, what do you have as a guess for a blue waffle, Jay? A blue waffle? Yeah. That's something. I, I don't bad. even have a guess. I have no guess. I mean, guess. it's. It's probably something disgusting. Just, yeah. just, just one of y'all put it in Google. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll look at. All right. So Jay's going to look that up while while we talk some more about but yeah, I mean, we we have a, a huge influx in listeners. So thank you very much. Uh we're definitely looking for you guys to subscribe uh if you can whether you're in Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn, uh you know, uh iTunes of course and definitely share, but uh thank you again for uh you know, listening and and downloading the episode. So Jay, what do you got for Blue Waffle, man? I don't know yet. You got to put it on the image. Put it on images. Oh, when you type is, it in, this is horrible. I'm trying to do now. It right we're now, distracted, man, but the uh, internet the, connection here is so <laughs> shitty right now. <laughs> that's, that's your crappy iPhone, man. My internet connection works great here. Hey, man, don't blame the iPhone. Android? The iPhone's awesome. No, just his personal crappy iPhone. Oh, okay. Well, maybe that's true. Well, when I type in blue waffle, I actually see a picture of a blue waffle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, click, click on images. <laughs> oh, this STD. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is it? No, let me see. No, let me see. Don't uh, like your phone. What is it? No, what is it? What is it? I, I'm interested. What kind of what kind of STD? Describe it. I don't even know. I can't even describe it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> is he having you look at penis pics? Oh my god, Ken. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Take oh, a, what is that? I, what, oh, hold on. What hold on. sick shit do you like what, do in your what, free time, Coco? Fucking oh. blue waffles. What is this, man? Holy crap! First of all, wait. This is a man, and man and woman. What is this? What are you looking? This looks like a dead person. He's looking at necro porn. <laughs> <laughs> better, hey, it's still better than ten guy in a circle porn with fists uh, coming all from all. I don't angles. know, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's kind of morbid, man. All right, so y- you used to like Ogrish back in the day, huh? Ogrish dot com. Ogrish, what the Ogrish? fuck is Ogrish? You don't remember Ogrish, right? I never, never heard of it. Ogrish. O G R I S H dot com. It used to be a site that used to have like beheadings and stuff, and it used to be on E Bombs World. So, am I going way too far back for you guys on websites? No, you're just going to a whole, totally different area that I didn't oh, know that you were like uh, liking about there, man. You, is, you went dark, homie. Is, no, you went dark with this blue waffle. Crap, blue waffles man. is a joke. It's an STD. You're Damn. talking about a website to watch people get fucking beheaded. Oh, I don't know. I, I, That's dark. <laughs> you take it a little darker. <laughs> Did I take it darker? Yeah, I just wanted. Right, I just wanted you guys to look at some diseased genitalia. You're talking about fucking people's heads getting chopped off. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. All right, let's move on. So anyways, um, yeah, we just want to continue to just say thank you. I know we say it every show, but no, seriously, it is definitely thank you very much. 
uh, because we continue to see our listeners increase. Absolutely. And uh, we even got Ken over there wearing the old uh, Canada T-shirt. That is in, true. In support of him right now. Yeah. Um, but no, guys, absolutely, 100%. Thank you. Continue to like, continue to share. Uh, we love the comments. We love getting the emails. Um, and getting a few more phone calls as well, a few more voicemails. Uh, we'd love we'd love to hear from you guys. And, um, yeah, just uh, obviously continue to listen, continue to download, and we definitely 100% appreciate it. You yeah, so, so fucking gracious. We are gracious. Yeah, are well, we're humble, right? I mean, because we know we're not that great. We we actually we whoa, don't have an whoa, inter- whoa, what? Whoa, I know that I'm that great. Oh, that's you, buddy. I, I I don't I don't think that highly of us. I mean, this is like three guys on a microphone in my spare bedroom. So <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, no. But seriously, I mean, when you think about this whole thing, we don't have entertainment backgrounds, right? We we we're not in the public eye. We're not like gregarious people that are out in the public like promoting something, right? I mean, we are just regular Joes that like the bullshit and talk and have a beer. But that's together. the beauty of a podcast. Yeah. That's the beauty of what you can do. You don't need to have that background. Now, obviously, I mean, I give you 100% shout out for everything that you've done and putting this together from oh, the thanks, studio man. and everything else, <laughs> thanks, man. man. Thanks, um, man. But yeah, like, I mean, it's just fun to come on and talk. And the aspect that people continue to listen, man, it's fucking great. Yeah. I mean, because it's, I, you know, I think one of our friends, Brent, right? He said it when he said he was missing us, right? Remember, he was getting emotional one time, yeah, right? That, and, and basically, it's just us gabbing, right? Us, and uh, the opportunity for us to kind of catch up with each other and talk, right? Yeah. And, and that's what it is. I mean, you got, you move away from where you live or you have friends that move away and stuff like that. And, you know, and, and that's what we do. We're just buddies that are talking. And I think a lot of people can kind of relate to, you know, hearing us talking, us bullshitting. And people are kind of like, man, I miss doing that with my buddies, man. It's just funny. You know, sitting around, for the most part, talking about nothing. Every once in a while, we get a subject. Yeah. But for the most part, it's just bullshit. No, nah, and I can't wait, man. I can't wait till people start calling us. Maybe we'll do a live show maybe in the future or something, right? And people call us and we just, uh, like they enter our circle right and we just sit there and talk and we form relationships with those folks man and i'll tell you what i can't wait man i can't wait for uh football season to oh, start gosh. up here yeah yeah oh, what about yeah. football well, season? well we got the nfl draft coming up here this week yeah it's tomorrow yeah. actually i think that's an opportunity yeah we might have to do a show about that huh Oh man, that'd be that would definitely be freaking awesome. Wouldn't maybe. it be interesting if we did like a totally separate like fantasy football show or something like that? That would be pretty cool. Although I don't know what role you would take in it because your <laughs> sports knowledge is slim to freaking none. Ah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a second because we got some more stuff to talk about. <laughs> so one more thing before we talk about my lack of sports knowledge. So one of our friends of our show, uh, he's actually working on a logo for us, right? Yep. And uh, you know, with the logo, we've got. Uh, you know, new logo material that'll go up on our our social media pages, uh, website splash page, some like some cards and things, maybe some magnets in the future, uh, maybe some t-shirts. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows how far we take this thing? But it's actually uh, QWest360 Designs. So that's the letter QWest360designs.com. And he's done stuff for car dealerships, athletic wear, um, and then there's a, actually a brewery downtown, the Broken Cauldron. They're like right down the street, like maybe one block away from the, the new Orlando City soccer stadium. Nice. Yeah, so he's done their logo. So we'll probably have him in uh, once you know we launch the logo and he's done with some of his projects. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about his company and, and uh, what they're doing with their organization. Yeah, so I mean, he's done a hell of a job, guys, and everything that we've seen so far it looks amazing, and we can't wait to, um, you know, show you guys everything here. Oh, it's um, exciting, right? I mean, the uh, fact that like this little idea of us just in this room has turned into a logo, more listeners, and well, it just it's turned into to, to just tons of listeners every yeah. week, and I mean, it's just amazing that people want to continue to hear what we have to offer, and like we love to put it out there, but yeah, I got to get onto a point here. Number What's one. That? We were talking earlier in the day about the NBA playoffs. Uh huh. Still about, going on about how the Magic aren't in the playoffs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's, it is true. It's a fact. I don't it understand. Is, yeah, it's a fact. Okay. It's been a fact for many years. Okay. What's the problem with that? Right. I mean, just, even just we, the, we wasted all this money to Nate, get Kevin Gr- what, what, Grant Grant Hill. Kevin Grant. <laughs> no, Kevin not Kevin Grant. Grant. It was a, it was Kevin, Grant Hill. Kevin Grant. No, no, <laughs> it was Grant Hill. We spent all this money to get Grant Hill for him to what? Ride the pine? Just sit on the bench? Do nothing? Fifteen what? years ago. What? That's not fifteen. That was freaking less than seven years ago, man. 
He was sitting there on the bench. 15 years ago. That was not 15. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to look this up while y'all talk. Go ahead. Talk about my lack of knowledge <laughs> while I look this up. All right. So besides the fact just, that that was at least about 15 years ago. I don't know if it was that long ago, but it's it's not seven years. He's uh, he's a little off there. Is it 10 but years? But at least he had that, that fact. That's, That's right. Like amazing. Right. Well, back in that the day. Blew my well, he didn't know his name. Ty- Tyron Lue. You guys remember Tyron Lue? I do. He was a great guy. <laughs> So, <laughs> go ahead, guys. He's go talking ahead. now while he has a phone in Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, I'm uh, looking up Grant Hill. All he did was Google X Magic players. No. Like, rare X Magic players. Let me try no. to sound smart so, right now. No, he was with the Magic from 2000, 2007. So, that's 10 years ago. Whatever. Who 2000? Cares? Yeah, 2000, 2007. So, okay, so 2000. He signed. So, that would be. And we paid him, what? Ago. What, $98 million or something to do nothing? Right? I don't think it was while that he was much. recovering. He got the max contract at the time. Whatever yeah, but that I don't think it was 90. I don't, I don't know how much it is back then. So whatever, yeah, no. But, I mean, they invested into a player that was really good who got hurt towards the end of that season. They oh, invested yeah. to him. He just never fully recovered from the ankle injury until he signed with the Suns. Yeah, and then when he got signed with the Suns, then he was all of a sudden trying to make a playoff run with them, right? Yeah, I mean, he played well. Well, they're a better team. Yeah. No, so he, we, we were a better team if he would play. So we paid him to sit on the bench. That we was signed it. him with Tracy McGrady? Yeah. Like, oh, we were making the playoffs with T-Mac with no Grant Hill. Like, yeah, you're right. We had a great team. If if Hill was the player he was when he was in Detroit, we would have been a contender on a yearly basis. Oh, absolutely. That would have been amazing. And that's well, what it looked like when you first came in, like the first like six preseason, first like sixteen games we got hurt in the first season. It looks like we were just gonna win the East. Okay, well let me let me ask you a question here, Ken. Okay. Who was the player they were really trying to get? What? At that time? In two thousand. There were three huge free agents available 2000. at that time. Grant Hill, Tracy McGrady, and one other, Vince free Carter. Agent. No, Vince Carter. No, Not no. Vince, Vince Carter? Carter stayed with the Raptors. He wasn't. He wasn't a free agent. This one might be too hard for him, man. <clears throat> what two thousand? This guy. This guy is a Hall of Fame player. He just retired this last year. He's still not going to know that. Just you can, retired. You can, you can give him initials. Okay. He he played for the San Antonio Spurs his entire career. Kevin Robinson. <laughs> every, every player has Kevin. <laughs> I know. Robinson. He was in the Navy. All right. Tim Duncan. Not David oh, Robinson. David, Tim Duncan. David Robinson. Kevin. So Tim Duncan was also a free agent at the time, and it came down to staying with the Spurs or coming to the Magic. And even in the interviews he's had, Man, he was, Tim he Duncan was, would have been great for the Magic. He said he was extremely close to coming to the Orlando Magic. Okay. Is Tim Duncan better than Dwight Howard? Yes. Really? Oh, 100%. Really? Career wise, Why do you yes. say that? Why do you say that? Uh, number one championships, number number two overall. Stats. But was that Tim Duncan? Yeah, he had a large part to do with it. Huh. What do you think, Jay? I think Tim was a great. Tim player. Duncan won champ- than Dwight Howard. Oh, hundred percent. Athletically, no. Yeah, see, Dwight was player was overall a player. He's a overall player. player. Tim Duncan's was so you're saying skill. Tim Duncan Hall of Famer. Yeah, absolutely. Dwight Howard Hall of Famer. Uh, because NBA tends to focus a lot more on stats than no, no. achievements. He'll make – Tracy McGrady just made the Hall of Fame. Tracy McGrady's stat lines is better than Dwight Howard's. Dwight Howard was like three or four-time defensive MVP. I also I also think, too, that he's going to have a harder time because of his attitude and his reputation. Who, Dwight? Dwight. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, better player, Tim Duncan or uh, – uh, Kevin Jordan. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> now he's a better player, guys. Kevin Jordan or Kevin Duncan. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Next question. <laughs> All right. So, because of your lack of sports knowledge. Yes. Uh, me, lack of sports knowledge, lack of movie knowledge, lack of drug knowledge. What do I know in this society? My gosh, am I even a benefit to this society? He, he, he knew you a shitload about taxes. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> great about taxes, man. I didn't know anything about taxes, actually. <laughs> no facts. It was just my opinion. Ken's like a big square. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Uh, he's been, uh, it's been stated that that's No what vices. He, he doesn't like sports or anything. Oh, no, he's got that's, a vice in his hand right now. Uh, well, that's not really that much of a vice. I mean, he drinks a few beers every now and then. But that's it's, it. It's not really that much. So... I was talking to Mr. Rufio over here, Uh and we decided to come up with a couple questions for you. (laughs) Okay. In regards to generalized sports knowledge. You know what I noticed about this whole couple questions is you have nothing written down. So what, you guys rehearsed this ahead of time? I never rehearsed anything. (laughs) No, we we, we just know uh, enough basic sports knowledge Uh to be able to ask you questions Uh to to, to see your sports intelligence level. Tyron Lue. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so I have now you uh, you grew up around uh, around the U.S. quite a bit. Yeah, obviously. yeah, yeah, sure. 
Uh, but I know you from living in the city of Jacksonville. Okay, sure, sure. So sure. would you kind of claim that as being yeah, home, no, hometown? I, I like the Jaguars, yeah, yeah. And the Jacksonville Suns, our minor league baseball team that is now called... Wow, he's spitting that <laughs> random sports yeah. knowledge. Just like, goes up here. Pull up your phone. Pull up no, your phone. Come on, no, Google it. No. What do you have on there? What were you pulling up? You no. just have like random shit saved. You probably got about 19 pages opened up on there. No, actually, guess what the, the um, Jacksonville Suns are called now? Do you know what the Jacksonville Suns are called, Jay? I, I have no idea. It's probably some kind of branded name. Oh, it's horrible. Please, please, give me just like one guess. One guess. The Jacksonville Seagulls. Jacksonville Red Bulls. Okay, both wrong. You were a little close, though, Coco. So c- go down that line. So Jacksonville Seagulls, that has something to do with the beach, right? So give me something else. Give me something. Uh, oh. Starfish. Oh, okay. The Jacksonville no. Joe Crab Shacks. Man, you are so close. <laughs> Jacksonville crabs. <laughs> so close. Jacksonville you lobsters. Guys, you guys are like getting warmer. So let me tell you, this is a minor Mollusk. league minor <laughs> league baseball team. Jacksonville Suns, that made sense, right? State of Florida, baseball, outside in the sun. Kind of makes sense, right? Baseball's never been hotter. Okay. So, oh, wow. Look at <laughs> you. You're right. Freaking marketing taglines over here. So they are now called the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. No, they're not really. Yeah, I swear. I swear. Look it up. I was close with the. I was kidding about the Joe's Crab Shack. Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp from Joe's Crab Shack. Oh my god! I went up there. I went up there for a concert a couple months ago, and I saw they were having some kind of event, and it was literally their logo is a freaking shrimp, and their Jacksonville you know, Jumbo, he, Jumbo Shrimp. Uh, we gotta look this up because I'm sure? I'm worried swear. that he misread it. That yeah. he said no. join the Jacksonville Suns for Jumbo Shrimp Day. No, and he's I like, swear, oh, there's guys. the Jacksonville Jumbo. I swear, shrimp. guys. Look, look, look. Major League Baseball, Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, right there, man. It's right there. I swear to you. Maybe it's a menu item. It is so hilarious. It's serious. Actually, ask one of our friends, you know, Bobby. You ask him. I mean, it's right there, man. Jacksonville Mm -hmm. Jumbo Shrimp. All right, anyways, go ahead. Go ahead, quiz me. Because I I knew that knowledge, so you guys didn't know that answer. I knew it. So go ahead. Keep going. Go ahead. All right, so you're a Jacksonville guy, right? Okay, sure. I was. What year were the Jaguars established in the NFL? Okay, uh, that was 95. Incorrect. No, it was ninety five. Incorrect. Hold on, let me think. I don't even think I know that one. Hold on, let me let me because I remember because I actually had we we went to every game like the first season. So that was oh man, man, it wasn't ninety five. What grade was I in then? Uh might have been ah uh, okay, maybe ninety seven then. Incorrect. Really, ninety three. Really, they're that old. I was gonna I was gonna guess ninety three because I remember they went to I don't remember being in Jacksonville ninety three. They went to the, like the the, the, the conference finals in like ninety six. No, I was there. I was there for the first game. Yeah, my dad had tickets. You know, blah blah blah. You know, they were like, and, they, and he was asking that, hey, what are they doing, Dad? And he said, you know, his dad explained everything to him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, they got past that line. Well, why aren't they score. just hey, all kicking the hey, ball? Jay, guess what? <laughs> why are they using their earlier. hands on the ball? Isn't that a handball? I don't know if you heard me earlier. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go, right. Go ahead. You got a question for him, Jay? 93. So, okay, hold on. Let me let me continue questions. on this. And you don't, you guys don't see a phone in my hands. Mark Brunel was our quarterback. Yeah. Steve Berline was with the uh with the Charlotte Charlotte team. <laughs> Charlotte. Team. Yeah. No, you were wrong. Uh, it was it was the Charlotte uh Steve Berline was our original starting quarterback. Oh, then, then he went Mark to the Brunel. Charlotte. Then he went to the Charlotte team. No. What was that? He never one? went to the Charlotte team. What? What team did he go to? You mean the Panthers? Yeah, the Panthers. <laughs> yes, thank the you. Charlotte team. <laughs> the Panthers. He went to the mom. He went to the Charlotte team playing some basketball the with Michael Charlotte Jordan. Panthers. <laughs> you know, the Charlotte Panthers. No, didn't he go to Charlotte Panthers? No. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Uh, I, don't keep uh, I think he ended up on Carol. I think he ended up on Carolina. Oh, Carolina, Carolina Panthers. Thank you. The Carolina Panthers <laughs> play in Charlotte. Planthers. <laughs> the Planthers. The Carolina Pan- uh, Planthers. All right. Did it, uh, Mac, uh, you know, or me, <laughs> Coco, I don't know if you heard me, but fuck you too. All right. So, anyways, <laughs> so okay, so Steve Berline was our original right. quarterback. Name, Mark Brunel was our backup. Name the Jaguars' current starting quarterback. Uh, so he is <laughs> from <laughs> no, he's, he's from, from here. He's from UCF. Yep. Blake Blake Bortles. Okay. Oh, oh, what? No phone in my hand, guys. What's up? No studying either. I don't even know these questions. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep All right. Going. Name uh, I the feel, Jaguars I first round hot. draft pick. I have no clue. <laughs> no clue. No clue. Why would That's I know that? I would have no clue. All right. No clue. Who is Name the Jaguars. Give me the answer. If you're going to ask me the question. Jalen Ramsey from Florida State. Jalen Rose? Jaylen I thought he Ramsey. plays basketball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Right. He was right. That was right. That he was correct. Jalen Rose yeah. does play basketball. He plays. Basketball. He does play basketball. He plays for the Chicago well, or played no, for the no, Chicago. He, Bulls. he doesn't. He's a broadcaster now. No, he's, he, he's, he's did beyond. he play for the Bulls? I think he was on the Bulls for like a season. I think season. he was. I think I think I'm but awesome. But at the right end now. of his career. I think I'm awesome. Yeah. Okay, I'm awesome. Go ahead, continue. All right. So who is the current team president for the Jaguars? His name is Khan. I don't know his first name. No, that's the owner. Oh, that's the owner? Yep. Oh, I don't know the president. I have no clue. Why would president, I know that? Why because, would I know that? Because that's because it made news because he was your original coach. Oh, Tom Coughlin? Yep. Really? He's the president? Yep. When did that happen? Did this, you know this, that? This recently. Yeah. Really? This year. Wow. So he's no longer a coach? He was what? The coach of the Giants, right? He hasn't been a coach he for a couple years Giants, now. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't been a coach for a couple years? Mm-hmm. Uh, about two, maybe three. Just I think, two. I think wow. just two years. So yeah. Coughlin came back to Jacksonville as the president. Yep. Well, that's cool, man. I think that'll be great, actually, for the team. I, you know, I tell you, about the since you're focusing on Jacksonville Jaguars, buddy, you know, I am very surprised that the Jaguars have made this turnaround because I think before- Wait, wait. Turnaround? Well, I'm saying that they stayed in Jacksonville, that they're actually getting attendance because there was a very, very, very high possibility that they were going to be relocated. When, Correct. But Con, when, when, when Con bought him, he wanted to when he wanted to keep him there. And that's but, an interesting business decision. And regardless to your attendance aspect, I actually went to a game this last year. And... No, but that's during the Con years when Wayne Weaver was like, hey, give me <clears> another stadium. Attendance was on the decline. And then that's why it went for such a low price. Plus the the Weaver family. Yeah, I got free tickets and there was still no attendance. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? During the con years? It depends. When did you go? Last season. Last season. Who were they playing? They were playing the Ravens in like week three when they had all this hype around them, how they were going to be a good team. Did you go in the hot tub? No, I did not. Hot tub was on the other side of the field. There's a hot tub? Mm. Yeah, there's a hot tub. There's not a hot tub. There's pools. pools. There's pools. There's not a hot tub. Why would you fucking put a hot tub in Florida? (laughs) (laughs) There's a lot of people that have hot tubs. Yes, but at night when they're at their home, like, you want a pool, girls in bikinis. I think a hot tub would be good. Maybe after you go in the pool, you get cold. You want to go in the hot tub. You're not getting cold in fucking 1 o'clock in the afternoon in Jacksonville for a game that's not being broadcast on TV. I haven't been to the game, and I haven't been to the pool yet, so I don't don't know. We should go to a game. Look, Jay, you couldn't go in the pool, man. They have a height requirement. Yeah, and they also have yeah, weight yeah, water yeah. displacement requirements. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I would definitely uh, do a cannonball. They have to drain some of that water. They'd be like, "Oh, here it comes." <laughs> I'm just kidding. Love All right, it. go ahead. Continue with your now. Go ahead. Continue with your. All question. right, Jay. Go ahead. Uh oh. We're just asking pop questions, randomly pop questions. Pop questions. You man. know, this reminds me of this reminds me of a game we used to play a long time ago. We'll get to that one day. Oh, I remember that <laughs> you game. Remember that, that was game? a good game. That was a good game. The general, the general. Uh, <laughs> it was a general questions game. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. All right, so but back to sports. All right, all right. Let's just. I'll try to make it a little easier for you. Than, okay, than, go ahead. Coco over here. All right. All right. Besides Steph Curry. Okay, okay. So we're already talking about the Golden State we're Warriors. About basketball. Though. All right. All right. I'm already uh, Golden State Warriors. Possibly, am I right? if that's okay. what's related to his question. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Continue. Name two other players. Uh huh. Uh huh. On the Warriors. Uh huh. Can't do it, but let me go ahead and try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Steph Curry. Uh, Steph Curry. His son. No. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Find uh, just one other player. No. Give me. Give me initials. Give me initials. KD. Uh, Kevin Durant. Yes. Oh. Okay, give me another. Give me another initial. KT. Uh, KT. KT. AI. AI. Not Allen Iverson's on there. <laughs> <laughs> Is he really? No. Oh. <laughs> Andre Iguodala. Oh, I'm uh, Iguodala. How about DG. 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 I don't know. I don't know who DG is. Draymond Green. Draymond Green. Oh, see, I have no clue. Clay Thompson. Is. Clay Thompson. I have no clue. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah, maybe uh, that guys. was too hard for him too. Yeah, I, I have no clue. Uh, is Chris Bosh on there? No. 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 Oh. Were they making a play for him, though? No. Uh, no. Okay. Do you know why? Uh, so tell me, is Chris Bosch playing right now? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't is that, know. Is that like a no? no that's a guessing no. Mark? That's a guessing no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Didn't he play for the, the Celtics back in the day? I don't know. No? Oh, my gosh. Go ahead. Fine. You guys ask the questions. I'll answer the questions. All right. All right. All right, all right. I was doing okay so far. All right. Kevin Durant. Boom. I'm the man. All right. What team won the Super Bowl this past year? Uh, Patriots. 
All right. Yeah. Who did they play? That was interesting. That was such a screwed up win, man. Who did they play? Oh my gosh! You know that was <laughs> such avoiding the question. <laughs> that was such a messed up win because it was like I watched the whole game, which is bad. I I really didn't watch the whole game. I think I watched the second half. I think you watched the highlights the next day. No, 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 no. Seriously, I did watch the second half. Okay, so who was playing? I was working on the house at that time. So who was playing? No, no, no. You got to give me some time. No, man. no, no, no. You got to give me some time because see, I remember. That when I was watching this, I was mopping the floor. Seriously. You know, I didn't have any furniture in the place. I was mopping the floor. It was in the second quarter. No, third quarter that I finally watched the movie or the, the Super Bowl. Watched the movie. The movie. <laughs> Would you watch Draft Day with Kevin Costner in there? <laughs> give me. That's any given, he says Kevin on every, uh, did he, did he watch it, every player. Any given Sunday? Was he watching that? Uh, I, I mean, I don't even think he knows that. Dude, going back to movies, he doesn't know this shit either. I know, right? We, we, we incorporated sports and movies together. He is totally fucking lost at this point. <laughs> Who played in the Super Bowl in 2016? Let me think about this for a second. Hmm. Uh, I think it was... Uh, I think you just talked I, directly into your iPhone and I, asked it a question. I, I don't think it responded. I, I, you know, I'm just going to go with... Uh, you know, I'm just Matt gonna, Ryan is their quarterback. Matt Ryan. Uh, Julio yeah. Jones is their number one receiver. So Julio Jones didn't really help. Matt Ryan. What? Did, Matt Ryan did help, though. Their jerseys are black. Oh, okay. That, their mascot's that's... like a bird. <laughs> that's a, they're that's from a... Atlanta. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, he says that's right. Let's see. Answer it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. The Atlanta Falcons. Oh, there you go. Uh, Good Lord. Oh, uh, man. I forgot, man. I you know, guys, you know, that's why, you know, I would be great in y'all's fantasy football league. You know, and you guys over There's the not last, a chance in hell. Over the last 12 years or so, you guys won't let me in, and I don't understand why. I, I would be phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, just a little background. Ken's been asking to join our fantasy football league that we've had going for, like, what, Ten years Ten at least. Years plus. Yeah. And there, there's he an asks, er- like every year, and we're like, you would never have fun with this. You don't know any of the players. <laughs> <laughs> I would have fun. I would have fun. It's just the camaraderie, man. I just wanted to be part of the crowd, guys. You guys won't let well, me look, in the crowd. We we can we can like allow him can't we allow him access just so he can like talk on the chat but not actually give him a team? Well maybe we just invite him to the draft one day and just say he's playing. And like let him pick players and like just pretend that he has a team. Why don't y'all just give he, me a team? What's the big deal with me having a team? I don't understand. How many people are in a fantasy football league? All right, I, well, I need you to go watch a TV well. show that's from FX called The League. Okay, well, that's well, hilarious. Is it really? Yeah. Just go, just go watch that show. Well, am I going to be a fantasy football expert? Um, no, not necessarily, but make because want to make you, this, make you play fantasy. This guy football. would end up being Taco. Which one? Yeah. Who's Taco? <laughs> Who's Taco? Taco's much cooler than Ken. Uh, no, he's a lot uh, cooler, but I'm just talking about actual fantasy knowledge. What is Taco? Yeah. No, but is yeah. Taco winning? Taco won one year, yes. Yeah, see, I would probably win the first year because I'm awesome at stats. <laughs> I'd be like number crunching. Gotta make sure you, you just draft like four kickers, man. They're very valuable. I would just freaking, no, nah, I wouldn't do that, but I would just sit there and just do stats, and I'd freaking study stats like all day, all night, man. Yeah, well, we, let me we, ask you something, we have a buddy so- that does that. I've always been wondering since you don't like um, you're not really big into like the popular sports like football or, yeah. or basketball. When was the first time that you actually played like football? Uh, it was probably in it was in Chicago. Yeah, oh, really you played as a kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, for sure, for sure. I, like I Nerf, Nerf said, football, yeah. throwing it in the park type nah, thing. Yeah, in the park for sure. Yeah, but basically it would be a neighborhood thing. So I actually, I know it sounds, it doesn't look like it, but I actually played baseball, football. I, I don't see soccer. the coordination at all. Yeah, you don't see it, you know, because well, actually amazing. I really have never seen it. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah, typically when you you know when you grow up playing those sports, like you tend <laughs> to like watch the sports so you can idolize the players that you're. And try to play like him, nah. or at least you develop some sort of hand-eye coordination to be able to like well, be decent. Either, one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to be Bo Jackson, but then I was like, "Eh, that's not going to happen. I'm going to study computers instead." <laughs> so that's how that worked. I'm going to study chemistry and electricity and computers. That's what I'm going to do, and that was my that was my life. But whatever, <laughs> who <Okay>. cares? <laughs> I just want to know because because in my head it was like you didn't touch a football until you were like 22. <laughs> That's fine. I'll well, and all he did was touch it. He never caught it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's better than the burritos you catch, and it's better than the. All right, I'm not gonna make the joke right now. Oh, I gotta censor myself. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's okay to make fat jokes though. But you leave the Asian kid alone in the corner. You leave Glenn over there alone, huh? <laughs> it's better than catching a bat to the head. Huh? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's definitely worse than what I was going to say. No, no, it wasn't. All right, no, it wasn't. All right so did y'all got, you had some more questions, whatever. 
<laughs> oh, he's about to die over here. See, too many. Burritos. I'm getting over a little cold. Too right many now. burritos. Um, All right, so so yeah, it was that blue waffle he had earlier. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> blue waffle. Yes. Was that this episode? Did we talk about that? Oh, I don't know. All yes. Right, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, he made us look at the blue waffle. Oh, he had to check out the blue and waffle. And then you decided to go into beheadings for some reason. Yeah, I didn't talk about that. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go with the NBA uh, okay. again. All right. Who won the title last year in the NBA? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Who did, huh? Yeah. It Can was you Cleveland. name the two teams that played in it? Yeah, it was Golden State. Okay. That was one. Okay. All right. Correct. Cool. Bing. Thanks. Appreciate that. And it was, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was the, uh, let's see. Uh, it's like the most popular player in the universe right now. Most popular player in the universe? It was Cleveland. Uh huh. Yeah. So it was Golden State and Cleveland. And who won? Golden State. No. Golden State didn't win. Nope. Was that the previous year they won? They did. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. So previous Cleveland. year they won. Cleveland, Cleveland came back from a three-one deficit to yeah. win. Yeah. Okay. All right. There you go. Who won the World Series this year? World Series. That's baseball. Yeah, I don't even like baseball. Oh my god. I don't yeah, blame I'm, you if you don't get this one. Yeah, but I'm exactly. sure you know who won the World Series. Ah, uh, Red yes, Sox. Yes, I know who won. Red it. Sox won. The yeah. Red Sox. Oh my god. Red Sox. I, don't I really this. am starting to actually think that you're just kind of playing along with these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, let's see. Where's here. he from? What shirt is he wearing? Is um, that no? No, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, I, I thought no. it was the colors. Uh, who won the World Series? The World Series was won by. Yeah, so it was New York. Was no. New York was playing against New York? No, no, N- yeah. No. Derek Jeter won again. <laughs> Derek Jeter <laughs> years ago. A <laughs> <Hey>, Rod. <laughs> All right. I have no clue. Why the do Chicago I Chicago Cubs won their first World oh, Series? Yeah, Chicago Cubs after well a long time. Years. You know what's so funny is I was watching the World Series. I have I have Facebook posts of me watching the World Series. Isn't that bad? Yeah, see, it's pretty bad. I, see what you're learning right now is I experience a lot of things in my life, but I just don't remember it. You see, I don't retain it because it's not important. So I just let it go. I, it's it's in my short term memory, and then it leaves meaning my I'm gonna come memory. over one day to do, record a podcast. He's gonna be like, "Yeah, no, I, we were doing a podcast. What what was going on?" Well, psh, that's my 90 day thing. Well, I have in this 90 day cycle, so in 90 days we got like 30 days left on this thing, and I might get bored of this whole deal. But we'll see. We'll see if it lasts. There's a joke some there somewhere there with him having a 90 day cycle. No, there isn't. I can't think of one. Right. Exactly. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. But yeah, he does get bored pretty easy, so he just shifts from one thing to another. That is true. That is true. I mean, he's a dangerous man. Actually, he's bored. He's got money. He doesn't have vices. <laughs> <laughs> Sits at home all day. <laughs> dangerous man. Dangerous. Why do you say that? I don't understand. What I I did. I don't say know. I we, was we, Batman last time. <laughs> no. We can look back to freaking New Year's. Uh, I don't remember New Year's, but, but, uh, <laughs> no, I, what are you talking about? Yeah. So, okay. No vices. That's true. I, I'm not rich, but I spent, I save my money very well. And, uh, what else? Oh, I, I, corporate America, man. Uh, <laughs> you're, 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 you're richer than most of us. <laughs> Whatever. Not even close. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. We'll have to talk about all my hobbies, but you know, maybe my next hobby will be playing sports or something. Maybe coaching a team. What Hunting I, humans. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you can post videos of decapitating them? Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that. That would be not bad. yet. No, yeah, not yet. Yeah. Do you it's know not, in Russia you can hunt yet. humans? In Russia you can hunt a human person. See, how does he know this shit? I don't know. Because he's been looking into it. <laughs> no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, I can't do a show next month. I'm going to Russia. No, come on, guys. Come on, guys. I just, I just got my gun permit. <laughs> come on, come on. All right, anyways. All right, I'll give you one more question. I'm getting tired of this game. I'm get, I'm bored of this right now. All right, so you want one more question? Yeah, I, yeah. You're just making these up. I, uh, Jay hasn't asked another question, man. Jay only had one question for me so far. Yeah, that's all I needed. I that's mean, it. Yeah, you've already proved your point. I already proved the point. I, I mean, will prove, prove your sports knowledge. Why don't y'all gab a little bit about sports while I, you know, sit here and just put myself on mute. Yeah. Yeah. See, question. there we go. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> well, it's because we <laughs> both know that we have pretty good sports yeah, knowledge. No, well, just it's, talk. Okay. It's more so, fun making fun of you. Who's the Who's Absolutely. the leading fan? You know, the draft in the uh, the NFL draft, upcoming NFL draft. Huh? Who's the leading what? The the leading draft person, whatever. <laughs> who's getting the first overall pick, or who should be the first overall pick? Uh, okay. Who is getting it, and who you think should be, and why? Well, and what high school did they go to? Go ahead. High let's school. Go. Yes. Uh, go. How the hell am I go. supposed to know? Why that? not? Why not? What was their GPA in college? Okay, go. The number one overall pick should be Kevin Garrett. Kevin Garrett. Where did he come from? What ro- what position does he play? <laughs> Kevin A and M. 
<laughs> I'm putting myself on mute. You guys have fun. <laughs> he played defensive Kevin. <laughs> Right, go, go. He had a three point Kevin GPA. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are not funny. <laughs> I've already stopped the show. The, We're the, not even recording anymore. The, the, the team with the first overall pick is the Kevin Browns. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone right now play, doesn't get He this. plays Kevin Ed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. Okay, fine. You guys don't want to talk about sports, so you guys want to just ma- see here make no, fun of me? No, we just answered the question. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we just want to make it as simplified for you as possible so it registers. <laughs> whatever, yeah, yeah. Kevin, whatever, you know. We don't want to waste too much of your short-term memories. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> just, just say Kevin. <laughs> well, Kevin, you, and Kevin, you. I'm pointing to each of you yeah, as right. I say that, guys. Thank you. <laughs> so the number one overall pick this year is the Cleveland Browns. Uh, the projected first-round pick is Miles Garrett. Uh, who is from Texas A&M, defensive end. Texas A&M? Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, one of my cousins went to Texas A&M. That's a good school, man. Good school. So, yeah. That's l- all I know. As long as you don't try to get Johnny Manziel to come play for you. He can't play. Uh, he hasn't been playing for a long time. He's like freaking doped up somewhere, isn't he? He's trying to come back, I think. Nah, right he's not. He, don't, he, don't, he doesn't want to. He has no motivation to. Yeah, some, it's not that, like his money. His, uh, he's got so much money. His family's so rich. No, so, he okay. party all day. That, that is my question. So, yeah. So, he went into NFL. I mean, he was like Mr. Football all of a sudden. And then, you know, he's out partying. You say he's rich. Where is his money coming family. from? Family. But, but what's his family? I don't know. I think they're in oil. Oh. They're either oil or lawyers, or so, I mean, they're they're highly educated. They, he came from money, like he. So he came from money, went into the NFL, squandered his NFL career, and then said, "You know what? I'm just going to take my family money and go party." No, well, he, he, he went to the NFL and decided that he just wants to party all the time and not take it, not take it like. Did he get any money out of the NFL? Though, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's made this, he made. I mean, he was a first round pick, so he made a couple million dollars. From... Just a couple, though. He didn't make like sixty million. No, I don't no, think so. no, no, no. Okay, no, no rookie, no rookie can do that high anymore. They so, put a limit on there. So, so take. Johnny Manziel, and then cha- take Gronk. Like, how is he like having a career? In because party? Gronk doesn't go. Gronk shows up to meetings when yeah. he's supposed to. Gronk isn't physically abusing his uh, girlfriend. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, Gronk also shows up like to the practices. He and he also plays well, which is a huge thing too. Yeah. How about so, the, the guy that was a quarterback for Steelers? I cannot <clears throat> remember his name. Save my life right now. Ben Roethlisberger. Roethlisberger. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. How about uh-huh. him? He's always in trouble doing stuff. He's no. Roethlisberger, oh Roethlisberger had, you know, he had one instance where he was a, where there was an accusation against him in regards to a, a female. I don't know if it was abuse or rape or something like I that, it was but rape. They, but I think they got cleared up. Allegedly, mm-hmm. right? Alleged, Allegedly. Yeah. But look, it, the thing is, is with with like any sport, if you are better than the next person, yeah, doesn't matter what you have done, that you will receive a second chance unless you're Aaron, Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, but why do athletes get that pass? That's interesting, right? Because they sell jerseys because they make money. Skill, man. Yeah, but does that give them a pass? Like Ray, Lu- Roy, Ray Lewis? Ray, Ray L- Lewis. Ray Lewis was was accused but never convicted. So come on, guys. Th- look, Ray look. Lewis. The the easiest the <laughs> easiest Lewis, one that you can on. reference to is going to be Michael Vick. Yeah, well, Michael Vick. Michael Vick's are jail time. Yeah, Michael Vick got screwed, though, man. Uh, when you think of Ray Lewis got versus Michael screwed? Vick. Got screwed? No, no. L- I think com- he got Do screwed. a comparison. Do a comparison just real quick. Don't you think they made an example out of Vick versus Ray Lewis? Number one, you're talking different time frames, but number two, no, because Ray Lewis went through the court system. He uh-huh. was found not guilty that he had no association with it, uh-huh. so he went through a federal system. Uh-huh. So what are you telling people? I don't know if it was federal, but okay, I'm, I'm still. Or following he you. went. He went through the court system. He went through yeah. court. Sure, sure, sure. So sure. what are you telling people that if someone who got off uh, on a crime who was considered not guilty, and the Ravens were to cut him and, and to not play him, what would that say? Yeah, you were accused, but you weren't guilty. So but hey. all right. So to your point, then Aaron Hernandez is he going to come back to the league? Then hell no, he's not getting out of jail. What are you talking about? He was just found not guilty. For the second murder yeah. trial, he was oh. already found guilty for the first one. Oh, still, like, okay. Story serving life. Oh, already. I didn't know that. Yeah. So what was the what was the two murders? I don't get it. What what are you talking about? I don't know all the details. Couple oh. might know more. I oh. still keep up. It was a double murder that uh he was accused of that they found found Oh, him so they found him guilty for the first one, but not the for the first The first one, yeah. The first one he killed like his sister's boyfriend or something like that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So bad example. So you're saying Michael Vick didn't get screwed. Ray Lewis, he went through the system, was adjudicated and then that's Yeah, it, I don't right? think Michael Vick got screwed. I mean, he killed animals and well, I, not him personally i mean he he let it happen in his property right, right. i don't think you you deserve like 
How many years did he get in prison? Yeah, he, he got was, a year. Was it just a year? Yeah, and it wasn't even a full year. I think he got like six or eight months. That really? Seems, seems like I saw. I thought it was longer than that, man. No, well, no, it seems like longer than that to you guys because he wasn't able to play in like for like two seasons. Yeah, because he had to recoup his image. So he was out, but he had to recoup his image and go through different things and serve a suspension within the NFL. How about as how well. about the guy? What it was? Uh, Ray Rice. Rice. Thank you. No, yeah. was it Ray Rice? The one no, 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 not Ray Rice. The one that disciplined his child. That oh, Adrian one. Peterson. Yeah. What about Adrian Peterson? Uh, again, sk- to an a- aspect, skill trumps, man. Adrian Peterson is going to go down as one of the best running backs in NFL history. No, no, no. But is he playing now? Yeah, yeah he's playing. Oh. Well, right now he doesn't have a job, but he's playing. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I thought he was. Right I thought now. he was gone for like two years or three years or something. No, like that. He, he. I think he was. Was he suspended? He no. was suspended, but only for a few games. I thought it was a whole season, guys. Yeah, he was actually suspended for. I thought it was a season. The rest of that season, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. No. Was it? I thought he got hurt or something. I don't yeah. know. I'd have to look at that. So, you know, that's interesting. I think we should reflect on that in the future shows because there are a lot of athletes that get that second pass that you're talking about. Oh, yeah. And it like the Ray Rice, is he still playing? No, Ray Rice. Ray Rice won't find a job. No team will touch him. Yeah. Because of the video of him. Uh, straight up knocking out straight his Straight up right. knocking out his fiance, who yeah. ended up sticking with him and marrying him. But the, also, the other thing, too, is, is his skill set was in a decline. When, oh, when that really? happened as well too, so the so you aspect think there's a direct suspended, correlation between skill, absolutely, and because there's a there's a, a guy coming in the NFL draft this year named Mixon out of Oklahoma, yeah, who was suspended an entire season. There's a video out of him knocking out a girl at a breaking her jaw. Oh yeah, because she said a racist comment. Because she said a racist comment. Yeah, you yeah. S- still cannot square up, especially yeah, when you're of course big, not not a girl. You, nah, uh-uh. doesn't matter. You're big dude, small dude. You can't hit a woman like sure, that. Sure, sure, sure. No, I'm with that. For Knocked sure. her out, suspended an entire year. He was not invited to the NFL Combine, but yeah. he will be an NFL player. Yeah. And because of his skill set, he probably would have been a mid to late first round, maybe early second round pick. He'll probably drop to the third or fourth round, losing out on probably a million or two dollars. Yeah. But a team will take a chance on him. Yeah. Because he is number one, young. Number two, shows the skill set. Number three, he's got fresh legs because he took a year off. So a team will pay him a salary to come and play on their team. How about the crab stealer that Tampa Bay picked out at uh, FSU? Oh, Jameis Winston? <laughs> yeah, Jameis Winston. Hey, man. Fuck me the pussy. Hey, there, there's, a, there's a restaurant in Tampa, though, that as soon as he got drafted, he's like, look, all the crab legs you want for free at my restaurant, you don't got to steal them from nowhere, just come on in. That is the smartest advertising ploy they made, right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, he's doing good. Yeah, he's doing good, actually. He's doing good. Well, he made a stupid comment at the school uh, at one of the schools a few weeks ago. I don't know if you guys saw that. No, what did he say? He went to an elementary school, and he's like, he's like, all right, stand up. He's like, all the women, sit down. And he was talking about how it's like, it's all about the men. You're strong. You're this, you're that. So he was, like, telling women to, like, he was telling all the little girls uh, at his elementary yeah, school stupid. to, like, sit down and stuff like that. He came out and said, yeah, it was stupid. He didn't mean it that way. And I don't think he did. He was trying to hype up, like, the boys and stuff like that. But... The the I don't have the exact comment in front of me, but how he worded it, it just made it look like uh, he's an idiot. You know, get back he's in the kitchen. Idiot. Whatever. All right. So, um, so that's about it. That's the end of our quizzes. Thanks, guys. And I don't know if you heard me earlier, but uh, you know, Kevin, you and Kevin, you, buddy. That's all I gotta say. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah, You're thanks. welcome, man. Thanks, buddies. Appreciate that. So, if you guys got any uh, sports trivia. Any sports questions, sports knowledge? <laughs> I'm going to lose. <laughs> uh, feel free. Send them in. Um, either I'll respond to them with my general knowledge. I promise that I will respond to them honestly. We'll not Whatever. Try to look You're going to look it like up. That. There's no way to regulate that. Okay, man. so then we'll let – no, there's a way to regulate it. What's that? We'll let Ketton answer the questions. Well, No, let's just get them. No, no, no. We'll let up. Ken answer the questions. What? Be- any sports trivia questions. Any but questions what's to regulate questions? me looking it up? Why don't we – Because if you know the right answer, we know you looked no, it up. No, I got it. <laughs> That's the regulation. Because <laughs> if you know the right answer, we know you looked no, it up. No, Kevin you. That's going to be my next thing. <laughs> Kevin you, buddy. So so why don't we get them emailed to Jay, jay at 1koa.com. Why don't we do that? And All then right. he can field the questions. <laughs> he He's the only one that will know the questions. And then he can come to us with those questions, and we can have like a family feud type style or something. <laughs> we can do a family feud type style. I, you know what? would actually, I think would be really cool to do a little game show on here. What's that? I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit more, but we can have Jay come up with questions about stuff that you're knowledgeable about, uh-huh. and he can quiz me on it. And then stuff that I'm knowledgeable about, I can write up questions for him to quiz you on. Yeah, and we can see who scores higher based on knowing the other person's information. I'd probably win. 
I'm just saying. Sounds like our old game. Kevin. It is. It does sound like our old game. And, and we're going to have to talk. So Jay and I, uh, you want to talk about it, Jay? Go ahead. I forgot what the name of the game was called. It wasn't like general. <laughs> it was something general knowledge. General knowledge game. Yeah, right? I don't know what it was. But we were bored, right? We didn't have TV. We had a box for a TV. Yeah. We used to we used to imagine it was a TV. <laughs> <laughs> we had AOL Instant Messenger. <laughs> and what else? That's about it, right? We didn't have any furniture. And we just made up a game where we would just ask each other general questions and bet points <laughs> and ask general questions off the top of our dome. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be general knowledge only, though. But he asked me some question about, like, you know, how many cc's is a V-Tech? Something like, something like so mechanical. Like, I have to be like a an engineer or a mechanic to know this shit. So, yeah, I did. <laughs> and that was before the internet. We couldn't look this stuff up. We just had to know the answer. Answer. And if we knew the answer, then we would get the points. And we would keep track of these points. I, I think it made us smarter, Jay. What do you think? I, I don't know. May, maybe dumber. <laughs> well, I don't remember any of the game, any of the knowledge. But, oh, well. Anyways. Anyways, guys, once again, we appreciate it. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the show here. And uh, look forward to uh, coming on next week. And, if you, like I said, guys, if you got any questions or anything like that, got any general sports knowledge, uh, Jay at 1K away. Um, yeah. Shoot him an email. Um, let them come on and quiz me a little bit. Um, I feel that I'm pretty strong at sports. Uh, yeah. I wish I was stronger in school besides sports. So. Yeah, well, you see. Yeah. That's where I got you, buddy. But anyway. <laughs> That's definitely where you got me. Well, you know, until next time, guys, uh, we definitely appreciate it. Got uh, J, a.k.a. Bangarang, uh, Bangarang, Rufio in the corner there. Um, and I'm Coco. And I'm Ken. And you guys have a wonderful week. Have a great one. See you all.